Well, here we are coming to you live from the U.S. Virgin Islands here in St. John's. And unfortunately, I have some breaking news for you. Of course, this couldn't wait until we got back home, but here it is for you. We are looking at our third price change of 2022. Now this time, fortunately, it was not all models and all trims that were impacted, and it's specifically the Model 3 that had these price changes. Now, we have seen some things change with how Tesla has determined how long it's going to take to get a car here over the last couple of months, and after some bad feedback, it seems like Tesla has made some changes yet again after all the blowback. Now the Model 3 standard range did not have a change in price, so it is still sitting at $46,990. However, the long range all wheel drive did have the biggest change in price of all the changes we have today, which went up $1,500, which that extra $500 was not a surprise based on the pricing it went last month. It now starts at $55,990. And of course, the Performance Model 3 did go up by $1,000 to $62,990. At this point, it looks like our Model Y price Prices are staying flat which is good news but we did see quite a jump of four thousand dollars just last month so hopefully these prices do stick even though the model 3 did have a pretty big jump in prices now one of the other big changes that we did just see recently was not only could you improve your delivery time frame by several months if you were to add an option which is still the case today meaning if you were to upgrade the wheels upgrade the paint or add any other features it will improve your delivery time now last month what happened was Tesla decided that those who were willing to spend the extra $12,000 on full self-driving were able to improve their lead time for their car significantly and after a lot of blowback from people who have been waiting for nearly a year at this point for their car that seems like that decision has been reversed. So now when you add full self-driving, that will not impact your delivery time, at least on the estimate. Now that certainly can change in reality and you may or may not receive your car sooner or later based on selecting full self-driving, but Tesla is no longer advertising that. And I think this was the right move, especially for those of you who have been waiting so long for your car. So as it sits right now, we do have some updated delivery time frames that you should be expecting based on the car that you get. One of the other changes that Tesla did make is for quite some time now, Tesla has been estimating a specific month of when you should expect to take delivery. Now, of course, for those of you who have ordered in the past, you know how frustrating that can be waiting for delivery of your car as that month continues to change every couple weeks or so. Now that part's not going to change, but now Tesla is giving what they used to do some time ago, which is give you a time frame. So for the standard range plus Model 3, you're looking between July and September for the base model, August to October for the long range all wheel drive, and June to August for the performance. Now over on the Model Y, things have gotten a little bit crazy. Without a doubt, Tesla is continuing to show the Tesla Model Y is the best selling EV on the market. And that did just happen recently and the lead times would suggest this is still the case. Sure enough, if you were to order a base model, Tesla Model Y, you will not get that car in 2022. In fact, they are estimating between January and April, which is quite a big window of when to expect it. The point is you cannot get it in 2022, so you have to wait until next year if you were to order the car today. And that could be driving what some of this pricing is doing, as some people have suggested for some time now. Over on the Model Y performance, however, we are looking at June to July, which was again another month push out. So because you could get the performance Model Y much faster than the long range all wheel drive, many people have been opting for that based on these extremely long lead times we're looking at of about a year before you could get a Model Y long range all wheel drive. Now, of course, today is the day of the opening party at Giga Austin, and the Cyber Rodeo is about to commence. With that commencement, we have yet to see exactly what model they will be shipping out of Giga Austin. Now, all signs point to a 4680 battery pack, and based on the one new certification that we've seen from Tesla, the only new certification that we've seen from Tesla for a Model Y would suggest we're about to see the release of a standard range Model Y. 
Now that said, we have seen at least one person who has confirmed they will be taking delivery of their car at Giga Austin. Although I don't want to sound too skeptical, we have been burned in the past from those claiming to have taken delivery or been assigned a VIN from Giga Austin. So we will either see a long range all wheel drive with limited mileage coming out of Giga Austin or the standard range Model Y will indeed be coming back. And based on today's prices, I think that is very likely to be the case. So we're really excited to see what news we're gonna find out tonight at the Cyber Rodeo because I am confident we will know more about that Model Y made in Giga Austin. Now, of course, the biggest benefit we're looking for is those 4680 cells. And regardless of if it's a limited pack with slightly less range than the existing Model Y long range out of Fremont, this new model will be bringing the next generation of batteries to the market. Of course, there's a lot of benefits to be had. There are some drawbacks, but in general, these next generation battery packs are going to change the game. Now, one interesting picture that I saw last night from Giga Austin was a number of cars covered, and we can clearly see which models are which. However, there's one that looks very different than anything we've seen. Of course, here in the back, we see two cyber trucks, and I am confident we're going to get some really intimate looks tonight for those lucky enough to have been invited to the Cyber Rodeo. However, this car right here, we're not really clear of what this is. It does not match the shape of any of the other cars. Of course, we can see the semi in the back. We can see the Roadster sitting next to it. We can see some Model Ys in here. So what is this car? So there's a lot of speculation about what it could be. And I don't know that there's enough right now to say we have much of an idea of what we could be seeing today. So make sure that you keep an eye out for all the reports that are coming out of Giga Austin tonight, as I am confident we will be seeing quite a bit of exciting news coming from the events this evening. So with all that said, I think after tonight, we will finally be able to say once and for all exactly what that trim level of the Model Y made out of Giga Austin will be tonight, sometime after 4 p.m. when the festivities kick off. So although not the best news, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, of course, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content, even when we're in the US Virgin Islands. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next time.